I set out to collect every single David Beckham signature boots. Um, that was my initial point, and I've completed that a long time ago. Predator was the first boot I had, and I'd beg my mum for a two or three months for these 98 accelerators. And they were there one day when I came home from school, we just sat there on my bed. And then one pair, two pairs, and next thing you know, it's, um, it's a crazy amount. 350 odd pairs, I think. I hope my wife's not watching this, but um, I've got about 280 odd pairs of Predators. Everyone knows the name Predator is associated with a powerful, striking football boot. This is the Predator archive boot. It merges the past with the future of Predator by mixing the actual elements of 10 historic Predator boots into one. And to make sure that the end result was as good as possible, Adidas hooked up with two of the biggest and best Predator collectors in the world. And since they also happen to be good nerd friends of mine, we decided to pay them a visit to pick their brains on what on earth is up with this really wicked, but also kind of mad looking pair of boots. All right, guys, I think it's fair to say that uh, there's a little bit of everything in the new Archive Mutators here. Can you take me through all the different boots and references and elements we see on uh, on these here bad boys? Yeah, so we've got the outside of the X, uh -huh. um, which I think we've got the boot that is yeah, somewhere. Right yeah. So that point. Uh -huh. um, the instep of the power swerve. So those two there. Yeah. Classic element. A classic element. We've got a little bit of a nod to the old split plate as well. Brand new. Spanking new. For yep. this boot, which is a little bit of a nod to the Absolute as well, very similar. Oh yeah, for the heel counter. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice textured finish on it as well. Mm -hmm. Onto this one, it's, as you can see, it's a completely different boot to the left. We've got elements from the Absolute mm -hmm. on the outside. Classic, iconic. Three yeah. stripes. Uh -huh. And one of my favorite colorways on the pulse, it's... That's the yin-yang, isn't it? Yin-yang. Yeah. So wait, they actually match. So the pulse stripes actually match the absolute stripes. Yeah. Okay, that is attention to detail. Yeah. And obviously on the predator elements, we've got... Match it up with the, the pulse. Uh-huh. So basically what you have is the geometry of the pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a new upcoming way, let's mm -hmm. always say. Okay. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the very important details, it's on the upper itself. And that's related to the uh, 95. It's got the old graphic. So the whole crocodile yep. skin thing. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and one thing I think stands out the most, if you notice, is the red and the black. It's like a little thing to the yin and yang boots. Yeah, yeah, a little nod, isn't it? <laughs> Quite possibly the best limited Which edition. Uh -huh. But I also see the LZ1, the LZ2s, and the Battle Pad Instincts. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. So, if you check the sock liner. Ah, that's a nice little nod. Also, because maybe the Instinct wasn't wasn't my personal favorite. So I didn't we mind need, it. We, no. we don't need any elements from that on mm, the boots. So no. that's that. it's cool to keep it as a graphic. <laughs> <figure. Yeah. laughs> but what about the LZs? There Again, we go. we've got the Instep on the ah, LZ yeah, as the well. Ah, yeah, the little sniper pad. Yeah. Van Persie's uh, lethal weapons. Trademark, yeah. yeah. And what about the LZ2s? And on assault. Ah, so here. Okay. So so that's a little bit of everything. We got some X, we got some mm -hmm. power swerve, pulls, uh, LZ1s, 2s, absolutes, instincts. Uh, that's a whole lot, but why are these, you know, why are the boots on there? I noticed that there's no accelerator, no precision, no mania. Yeah, so basically we wanted to do a boot that didn't include those three, but were still highly regarded by predator, predator collectors and basically people who have wore Predator throughout the years. Um, so we wanted to do a boot based on the other stuff that Adidas hadn't already done. Every panels, every stitching is, is different. Um, yeah, and we incorporated 10 versions of it, mm. you know. What I also can't help but notice is the fact that we're talking about real elements here. I mean, on, on some other mashup boots, both in, in, in the football boot and also in the sneaker world, we see yeah. graphics being used, you know, visual references, but these are yeah. actual elements that feel like, they feel like the old OG Those elements. are from the original molds. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The younger generation now can feel what it's like to wear a power swerve or a pulse or an absolute, but just 
in a different and new kind of way. I mean, you give people a taste of what Predator used to be like, yeah, but yeah. with new technology, new yeah. materials, new tooling. Um, yeah, we, we brought it all back, but in a new, different dimension. So basically, you're taking all your knowledge and boiling it down, taking down the best parts yeah. to give people a taste of what Predator has been like over the years. Totally, yeah. Yeah. So what about material choice here? Because obviously, we've got the classic Predator elements, but I also feel some yeah. pretty wild leather and there's a knit collar. So we give you that good feel of K leather and mm. the softness and the weights as well. Best of both worlds, really. Yeah, yeah. And so basically, you've been able to use fusion skin yeah. where you can do basically whatever you want yeah, to yeah, it yeah, that yeah, you definitely. couldn't on the old Preds, yeah. and you can still give people that classic Preds mm -hmm. vibe. We basically created a beast, but a classic beast with modern technology mm. material. So there you have it, my friends. The Adidas Archive Mutated Predator mashing up a whole lot of OG Predator boots into this completely mad monster. I love it, but what do you guys think about it? Well, as always, you should let us know in the comment section right down below. And if you want a pair, you have to hurry up to go and cop it right over there. You can, of course, also go and learn some very wicked football skills in the playlist right down there. But before you do that, make sure to go subscribe with the notifications on to see all our latest videos the second they drop. And with that said, guys, I'm heading back to Denmark, signing off. Cheerio.